Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about footies and a market outlook video for this coming week with footies being the main point of that. So just to preface this a little bit, if you don't know, last Wednesday they released this team of the week in packs and they, uh, they said that this is going to be the last team of the week that we will see in packs until August. So from now until then, basically for the entire month of July, pretty sure I'm quoting that correctly, they said until August, we're gonna be seeing other cards as a part of the team of the week, whether that be footies, whether that be re-releasing cards and putting them in team of the week, we don't know. And we're gonna find out on Wednesday. Wednesday at 6 p.m. UK is the drop time for footies. Um, so in this video today, we're gonna to look at kind of stuff leading up to that Wednesday date and some even some scenarios um, just kind of looking at what footies could be and how we can prepare for it. So first I want to talk about footies as the promo. If you haven't watched my video that I put out on Saturday, um, that video will be linked down in the description below. And as well at the end, you can click on that and, uh, and watch that video. Uh, footies is coming is the title on that one. And I, I really go in depth on some things in that video, just looking at footies cards, um, and some prior year m movements and stuff that was, um, Stuff that was required and basically what happened in footies last year. So go check that video out. There's some more in-depth information on the promo itself. But I want to remind you guys what footies looks like. This is what footies looked like in FIFA 17 with the Butland and the Smalling. You know, obviously we had the SBC versions of those cards. And then the people who won um, got the upgraded versions. That was FIFA 17. FIFA 18 footies was basically the same thing, except they put more cards in packs. Obviously, we have this Lozano card that everybody used and everybody loved. Um, it's just a, just a sick card. Um, he was a footies item. This was his footies card, 79 rated, and they gave him a 92 rated footies, um, uh, footies card. So FIFA 19, who is he going to be this year? Well, there's this one prediction that I saw on Twitter, and this is a this is a bold prediction, let me tell you, but I think this is a good prediction. I think this is by uh, SJMR Design at Twitter, so check that out. Check this post out if, if it interests you. But this is kind of what footies is all about. And since this year they've been putting a lot of teams in packs, I wanted to talk about the possibility of footies being totally different this year. Maybe this year, they said we're not having team of the weeks, Maybe they're going to start off with putting a team like this into packs. How crazy would that be? If they basically put team of the season-esque ratings on some of these cards that have been OP, that have been popular throughout the year, they're just foot favorites, and put them into packs. Is this likely? I don't know. It's totally different from what any footies has been before, but this is just an idea that I saw on Twitter and I wanted to throw it out there. Maybe they're replacing the team of the week with these cards or cards like this. Maybe the footies cards will be our team of the week this week since the promo starts on Wednesday. That's a possibility. I heard a few people talking about that, so I wanted to cover that. One also thing, one thing that I do also want to cover is how on Wednesday this promo is going to start, which is kind of a weird time. I don't think we've ever had a promo that has started on a Wednesday. Most of the time they start on Fridays, or, or the occasional promo would start on a Monday. But that's probably going to change, change some things as well. That's right before Weekend League rewards, and people are still playing Weekend League and sweating Weekend League out uh, because of the team of the season cards that are in rewards. You know, you have, if you get elite, you get a top three players pack. All the player pick items are, um, all the player pick items are gonna be team of the season. So there's a lot of, there's still a lot of, um, you know, drive and a lot of people that are going to try to play weekend league and a lot of rewards that are gonna come out this week. So that kind of changes an interesting thing for Thursday flipping. We could, if we get cards and packs like this on Thursday, that's going to be some sick weekend league rewards coming out this weekend with the the these cards and packs and the team of season player picks. Now I'm not saying that that's going to happen. Um, usually, what would happen is if this promo starts on a Wednesday, if the promo stays the same as it has in the past, we will probably see the first nominee SBCs come out on Wednesday, and that really means that um, we're basically going to see 
the three SBCs per position. So like last year they released an SBC that was uh, choose, you did the SBC and that voted for, they went by positions that is right back, left back, center backs, goalkeeper, midfielder, and then wingers and strikers. They did they did that. So like this year, if we use this team as an example, I like using this graph because it's just, it, this graphic, it's just a cool graphic. So let's say they put Fabinho, Condogbia, and uh, Matuidi in a voting scheme. So you have an SBC for a, for a Fabinho, a Pogba, and a Matuidi in here. The, the footies card will probably be their base card item. And then you will get that card and store in your club. And that you doing that SBC counts as a vote. And then after that, you'll be able to submit that card into the corresponding SBC for the winner. That's something we could also see on Wednesday because that is how footies usually goes. Maybe they want the promo to technically start on Friday. Maybe they're going to re-release cards into packs on Friday. You know, do like the best of... Um, version again or re-releasing some of the old team of the weeks into fifa like we talked about in, in uh, saturday's video but uh that is that is one thing that we we could see and it just i'm trying to wrap my head around this and i'm trying to explain this to you guys why this promo is different because it starts on a wednesday which is really weird i don't think they would drop a huge team in packs or a bunch of cards in packs in the middle of the week i mean that just stuff doesn't really just work well for them you know they do promos on the weekends because they know that the weekends um, do the best for them in terms of selling packs because more people are on the game. There's weekend league, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It just all plays in their hands um, for that. So basically, what we're doing is we don't know anything else about footies right now. We just have some predictions on Twitter and we just have prior year experience to look at and to go off of. So I would just wait until Wednesday, see what comes out, um, and then we'll be able to adjust accordingly with what they're gonna do. But in the meantime, there are a few things that we can do to prepare for this upcoming week. Check out some of the prices on these cards right now. It is ridiculous for some of these higher rated cards. 85 rated you have at 9K, they're not that low. 86 rated at 15,000 coins. Muller at 14, Matic at 15. That's why you saw me buying a couple just now on the market. Look at all these other higher rated 87s under 20k, 88s under 25k, 89s for 33, 32,000 coins. Crazy, crazy cheap. Um, I think these cards are a definite worth definitely club stocking because we're going to get SBCs during footies. And if we get a Pogba winner, if we get a Matuidi, I mean, they're going to make you pay a little bit for those SBCs. Um, so I would definitely recommend doing a club stock. Like this is just a screaming buy slash investment slash club stock for me. Basically, you can take it as far as you as you want it. You can go all out and go on a sign on them if you want to trade in, <laughs> in January of FIFA 19, um, or just do the safe route, do a club stock, and then you're ready for those SBCs. Or if the cards go up and you don't want to do the SBC, you can sell the cards and make the profit. So. This is a great way to get ready for footies. Another way to do this, and we talked about this in the prior video as well, is just going through different special card items. Man of the matches, uh, team of the week cards, maybe even team of the season cards. Basically just checking out their prices and finding some higher rated cards that would be good for SBCs that if they require them would be a perfect investment. Now one of them I'm looking at right now off the bat is a great buy. This is Darwin Machis. 84 rated, he is discard, 15,500 coins, 84 rated. A discard man of the match item. Pick one up, throw it in your club. If you're really ballsy and you really want to take a, take a chance, go buy a bunch of them because it is basically a no risk investment because he is literally discard price right now on the market, 15,500 coins for this card. I'm gonna buy one, throw it in the club, because you might as well, right? Exactly. Send him in the club, get him in there. 15,500 coins discard value for a man of the match card. Look for stuff like that on Flippin. Sort through some of the different card types. Find stuff that is discard. I think this um, Jefferson Farfan as well is discard value. 84 rated man of the match cards discard for 15K. And if they require them for an SBC, it could easily go up to 20K plus, And you'd have one in the club to be able to complete SBCs as well so keep watch on stuff like that on the market but i'm serious get yourself some high rated golds do a club stock uh, and also complete these sbcs 
This is why the high rated golds are so low right now is because people are doing this African football challenge. Footballing nations, you get a 100k pack out of this and I think you get, you get a lot of players. Premium gold players pack. Premium electrum players pack. Jumbo premium gold pack. Rare mixed players pack. Small prime mixed players. Small rare electrum. There's tons of players that are being packed from that SVC. And that's why you're seeing a lot of the, the higher or the lower prices on golds because a bunch of people are flooding the market with these cards that they're packing and not a ton of people are using them in SBCs. That's why they're very cheap right now. I'm going to actually continue to go through some of these higher rateds and pick them up at a cheap price um, because I think this is just a very easy way to stock your club and to be ready for footies and get some other things as well. Maybe pick up like a Manchester United player. Somebody, you know, teams from popular nations and popular leagues are what they're going to use um, for SVC players in this promo. So go pick up maybe a, like a Rabio PSG player, um, or a Kempembe, 83 rated. Just stocking your club with some of the, not necessarily higher rateds, but 83s and 84s, even some 82s um, from the popular teams in FIFA, just because those are a lot of the teams that see SBCs. A lot of the players that see SBCs, you're probably going to see like a Fred. I mean, Footies Fred would be like the perfect Footies card for this game. Go out and pick yourself up a Juan Mata or, you know, something like that. Just to be prepared and to be ready um, for, for what could be coming with some of these SBCs. So, again, stock your club with the high-rated golds. I think that is just like a literal no-brainer investment in terms of um, risk. There is literally no risk with that. Other than that, throughout the rest of this week, I don't think we're going to get much content. Monday through through Wednesday, 6 p.m. UK. I don't see like anything coming into the store or maybe even leaving. Maybe one SBC that we get, just they put out a random SBC <laughs> so that we have something there. Um, other than that, I think a lot of things are going to stay uh, pretty low key. You probably have some weekend league sell off happening right now, and um, that makes sense, but maybe not as much as always. I'm, I'm curious to see what the market looks like. I haven't been looking at a ton of prices today. At least these Ronaldos. Ooh, Tots Ronaldos, 6.7. Yes, come on down there, buddy. Nice. All right. So keep your eye on some of that stuff as well. People are still playing this game. And the fact that these weekend league rewards are in foot champions, the ability to flip special cards throughout the week is still going to be there. So if you're somebody who is trying to make coins, trying to actively trade, because we have these team of the season player picks still available to people who play weekend league, uh, going on Footbin and going through the team of the weeks and looking at team of the season cards, looking at other special team cards like team of the knockout stage, you can flip these cards very easily throughout the week because there's still a lot of supply and demand, or still a lot of demand for these cards. Now, I would issue one warning just be careful um, with footies coming up. Some of these cards could very possibly be released back into packs, and you don't want to be stuck with. 20 or 30 special cards that you're trying to flip on your transfer list when, you know, if they do go back into packs. So just be careful with that. Try to get a quick, uh, a quick flip out of a lot of these cards if you do wish to do some of that. But again, biggest advice I can give you is do a club stock, get some higher rated in your club, especially the 85s to the 89s. They are dirt cheap and you need those for SBCs and footies is definitely going to be about some SBCs. But I do think they're going to put some stuff into packs as well. I know that's, that squad that I showed before had a, a large amount of very high-rated players. And I don't know if it's going to maintain all of those players. Um, you know, that would be a huge team to go into packs. Like, almost better than some team of the season squads. You know, that like, if that footies team was in packs, that would literally be better than ultimate team of the season. Which, which is crazy to think about. So... We'll see what happens on Wednesday, but basically this week, stock your club with SBC stuff. Put your coins into some of that because as we get down to the end of the year, people like to redo SBCs that have been put out and they do re-release SBCs. But again, if you want some more footies info, check, take a look at my past video. I go in depth with what footies is all about. Um, but again, uh, that's the market outlook for this week, to be honest. It's kind of a big question mark this week. What's going to happen with footies? What are they going to do? Um, so not a lot of direct info this week, just a lot of kind of talking, looking around and talking about where the game is right now and what could be 
some moves heading into footy. So if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.